Alright, back again. Um this is the uh part where I'm taking out all this towel. And I'm gonna stop here and say something. I know you guys look at TV and see all the property brothers chipping jot, uh Diane and all that demolition day and they get the sledgehammer out and going. That is for TV. Especially if you're going to DIY. If you're not a master carpenter or tiler or plumber or electrician, it's best for you to uninstall or dismantle everything as opposed to trying to demolish it. Because you can run into a lot of trouble with wires, uh, plumbing, you know, you can have um, wood that's probably rotted out. You, you, you're knocking it out of place and, man, framing issues. You don't do that. Perfect example is I took this uh, pretty much all out in one piece. I took the other side out. It was pretty much one piece. I, I, I got in the corners and... You know, dislodged it and then took it out pretty much in one solid piece without throwing the hammer everywhere. So that's my advice. If you're going to be tackling a home renovation project where you have to take out cabinets and things like that. I uninstalled this. Now I did have to demo this a little bit because it was I was unable to get the screw get to the screws that held it in place. Anyway, this is the stage I'm at right now. I want to get Lee Jr. down here and uh, get him to go and take all this debris out and I'm going to start back up. Okay. That's what she looks like uh, taken out. So here's my dilemma here. This is very close. When I even tiptoe and I can just touch that. So I see that there's a lot of space here. So I'm going to raise that up probably about another foot, at least another foot. I think that'll get me. I don't want to put a rain shower in here. So with it being right there, it'll be just right there on top of your head. So it needs to have some distance to fall. I may go all the way up to the, to the current ceiling. I may do that, but either way, this is going to get raised. And I'm going to have to reconfigure this, probably move this either over to this side or up a foot because I want a wall to wall niche. I'm going to put a niche right there and uh, put a light in it and everything else. So that right there. So I have to do a little bit of uh, reframe in here. And... This is just to give you an idea. See all the little water damage that was going on. Luckily, the wood is not rotten out or anything like that. But clearly, um, there was some failure in the, uh, the installation process. It lasted 30 years, but nevertheless, Earth's failures. They put the they put the drywall that actually had cement board at the bottom half of the shower and then continued up with regular drywall, which even with the cement board, they had it in the inside of the flower mud bed, which I will do differently. Anyway, stay tuned. 
So I just took this out and look what we have here. Ample enough room to uh, extend the ceiling. So that would be no issue at all. I'm going to go up about another foot, foot and a half. Give it a nice open airy uh, shower and a, a nice rainfall effect with the new rainfall shower fixtures. And this is what the bottom looks like. As you can see, they didn't, uh, they didn't bother covering up the drain and it looks a hot mess down there. I think I may have to replace the P-trap off in this uh, because that looks pretty jacked up. So, but nevertheless, the wood is not rotted out like I thought. I anticipated so there is some uh, evidence of water but everything is pretty much solid so I'll be able to uh, take this take this clean this up and uh, get the floor added I'm going to do a uh, I'm, I'm thinking about not doing a pre-slope in here because I don't want the curb to be so tall. So, now I have to get rid of the um, I'm going with pecs in here and put my faucets in here and going up to the top is where I will be changing the um, height of the ceiling I'm going to do a I'm going to do a um, wall to wall shower niche right here so that means I'm going to have to raise this up a little bit probably raise it up to about here that's something I have been wanting to do this is a a three gang light uh switches here it has three gangs in it but it's kind of funky so i had been wanting to change this out let me show it to you right here i had been wanting to switch this over to the three parallel switches because my smart switches that i've already bought you know obviously they won't fit here they have one individual switch and that's a combination that I can't use so I was I never got around to doing this but now that I'm doing the bathroom I'll be able to kill two birds with one stone I wanted to change that anyway so the only difference is I'm going to raise it up here so my shower niche will be wall to wall and more centered so the putting the niche here but I actually wanted to go from wall to wall here in between this stud and probably here to there and put a light inside an LED light so Get that all squared away, and then the next step is to repair the walls, take all everything off all the walls, and get everything ready for paint, because I'm going to paint everything first. I know there's going to be some touch-up after I get in here, but I want to get to everything all done, all the paint in here while there's nothing in here. I don't have to worry about taping off anything. So stay tuned.